everyone. So I'm still figuring out my lighting. Um, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to manage lighting or anything um, because it's just dark all the time. <laughs> but anyways, uh, today I am doing a review of The Lies We Told by Camilla Way. This is a mystery thriller novel. Uh, I was a little put off by the cover at first, but I do have to say I really enjoyed it. I ended up giving it like a four and a half, four point seven five out of five stars. Um, the only thing that I did not like about this book is like the ending, and by the ending I mean like the very last paragraph. The author just did something that I don't really like. Um, but I did enjoy it, and I would recommend it. And in this, we are following multiple multiple perspectives and multiple like time periods and I love when mystery novels do that. I like jumping back and forth and just I like chaos. So um, one of the perspectives that we're following is Clara who um, her boyfriend goes missing. Uh, he just doesn't come home one day so she starts to like call around to um, where they work because they work together. She starts um, calling around to all his friends and like nobody knows where he is and um so eventually she kind of like teams up with his best friend and you know he she contacts his family and her and her boyfriend luke like his best friend or they're trying to find luke the other perspective that we're following is beth who we follow her from the 80s up until present day and she has a daughter hannah who um when she's like a toddler around three her mother starts to notice that she doesn't really have any emotions. She's not like a loving child. She is has violent tendencies. And so eventually that starts to turn into something sinister. So while we're following Clara, um, we start to obviously notice that there's some type of connection between all these people. Um, I don't, I'm not going to say like how they're connected, but like the inside jacket kind of gives it away. And I just read the inside jacket for the first time and like something that I thought was like a big reveal is like in the jacket. <laughs> so there you go. If you want to be really surprised, don't read the jacket. If you don't care, then read the jacket. Wow. I didn't even notice that till just now. But anyways, um, one thing I one thing I like about this book is when the author does reveal things to you, it's not um, laid out super specific. Like you're, she's not holding your hand through anything. She just kind of like drops some information and lets you like connect it all on your own. Um, it's not like this in depth description that she gives and it's not like the character describing it in depth to somebody else. Um, she doesn't give you like a ton of red herrings which I think some some mystery writers think that if they throw out a ton of things that lead you into like like or give you false information that they think that makes a good mystery which sometimes it can. There just has to be a really good balance or at least in my opinion of misleading information and I don't know not misleading information I just feel like some authors try to confuse their readers so much to add to their shock value instead of just writing a good book that shocks the reader but in this case I think she wrote a good book that can shock the reader or be surprising or give you a few moments of like, oh, I was not expecting that. Um, but like I said, I really enjoyed this book. I would recommend it. Um, it's a fast read. It's like one of those mystery thrillers that you just like, you don't want to put down, especially with it jumping between different points of view and different perspectives or different time periods. Like you just want to get to like what's next and how are these people connected and like what the hell is going on. But yeah, I would really recommend this one. Let me know if you've read this book or if you're going to pick it up. I know this is a really fast review. Um, but yeah, I, I enjoyed it and I hope you do too. And I'll see you in my next video.